Mm. Yeah. Good day. Like I say, you want to be an owner operator. I suggest you learn a little something here and there. Um, these guys out here will absolutely rape you. That's all there is to it. Um, I've got an issue in my turbo. I've lost boost compressor. So there's only a few things that run it. And you guys with these a Detroit Series 60, some of the EPA versions, this might help you out a little bit. I, I see a lot of posts about this issue happening. I've been waiting on it to happen. Uh, you have a few basic systems that runs the um, turbo and the EGR system. It's not as complicated as a lot of guys are making it seem. Uh, you, if you're like me, uh, just a good old boy with out a big laptop and, and all that, um, don't feel like going to Freightliner and pay. And I think this job was uh, estimated, they gave me an estimate around $3,500. Because the first thing they're going to do is say, hey, it needs a turbo. So they throw a turbo, there's 22. Now you got a, now you need a V-pod. Turbo doesn't work, you need a V-pod. There's another 400. Actuator, another 300. Or you can get out and use a little common sense and get down to business and eliminate uh, problems. 80% um, of fixing this stuff is process of elimination. If you can diagnose the problem, why in the hell can't you just go ahead and fix it? You know, at least give it a shot before you pay these guys thousands of dollars for them to say, well, it must have been something else. That's the favorite thing to say. Uh, here you have... This is your actuator. A uh, good way to test that is with, through this line. This line goes bad a lot. Sometimes uh, it is actually the actuator. Once you take this pin out, if that moves freely, that's moving the veins in your turbo. So as long as that's moving freely, the turbo's still good. And uh, I've already tested it. I started up, took that off, hit that, and of course you get the jet engine sound. Um, so go to the actuator next. Uh, follow that airline. This little fitting right there, excuse me, I'm new at this. Uh, that's where the air pressure comes from the V-pod. The V-pod sends air pressure up there and that little rod goes up and you have boost. So we know it's not the turbo, we've came down to the actuator, it's not leaking. As you can see, the wet stuff on there, I've sprayed some took my handy soap and sprayed some water on it while it was running. No air leaks, um, there's not really much there. It's just a little rubber plunger, as long as that's working, good to go. So I follow this line down to the culprit. See him unplugged right there? That's your V-pod. This is on an EPA-04. Now on EPA-07, EPA the actuator's right here. And that's a little different setup, but this is what I have, so this is what we got. Uh, gonna remove that, play around with it, but most likely it's gone. I was getting some black smoke. Um, intermittent turbo, blah, 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 boom, boom, smoking, smoking. And this old girl, she don't smoke much. Uh, black smoke not much but and there is some there um, she uh, the other thing that you might want to check is all your hoses this your EGR hose going over they have rubber here and on the other side make sure none of this stuff here is uh, cracked broke leak anything like that no leaks here I thought that might have been the problem but nope there's soap water and the water is uh, 
about 95 cents. You know, it'll save you. It'll show you a lot of things. They'll throw the sensor this, boost sensor, boost pressure. They'll go back and forth and tell you you need that. And by the time you change all this stuff, fellas, you've spent thousands of dollars. And I'm, I don't know if you're like me, but um, I could sure use that money somewhere else. Uh, always, uh, once I got the plug out down there, I tested to see if I had power, so I have power. You got a little air line coming off. See it right, right here. Unplug that, two volts, and off it comes. Um, after we get that off, I'm gonna go you have to go to the Freightliner for this. Uh, go grab another V-Pod and we'll see what happens from there. I uh, hope you know, this might help somebody out. If it helps out one person, then my job's done. Uh, yeah, V-Pod issues, um, turbo issues, Series 60. They're not as complicated as you think. Uh, that's the end of this video. It's getting a little long. I guess I'll stop it. Uh, God bless and drive safe, fellas.